we got married July 8, 2006. And after the wedding, typically we were expecting a baby, but it was not forthcoming. We visited um, hospitals and um, I was diagnosed of uh, hormonal imbalance, polycystic ovary. So we started treatment and 2008, uh, June 2008, yeah, I got pregnant, but I lost the pregnancy maybe six weeks after or so. After that, I went for um, another procedure and I conceived again. I um, the, um, 24 weeks, I started bleeding because I had a placenta previa. I had a baby, but unfortunately, two or three days after, I lost the boy. And since then, we've been believing God uh, for another baby. In 2011, there was a program in church at that time called um, Spiritual Antinata Night. It was during the 35th anniversary of the church. So we attended that night and um, we keyed in into everything that was told us. And I remember every time we listened to that message, there are four messages during that session. It was a vigil. So we were listening to the messages and all. Then at some point I got um, sick. I had to travel to Ilori then. I was admitted in the hospital. So when I came back home after that incident, my husband told me, let's go for Wolfby. So we went for Wolfby. And I remember that at that, that time, yeah, I was on a particular treatment that time. So during Wolfby, I now went to the canteen with, um, to, with one of my friends. She just told me, ah, Sister Shade, if I were you, I would stop this drug. And I stopped that drug. The last day of OB, that was 24th of June, uh, that I saw my period that very day. And I calculated my EDD from that day. It was 1st of April. The EDD was 1st of April, 2012. And miraculously, that was the same day I had my first child. After that, nothing was forthcoming, although we didn't want to get pregnant immediately after. But when we wanted to get pregnant it was not forthcoming in 2022 um, during the fasting and prayer i was not feeling too well so i went to the hospital i was told to run some tests and um, a doctor referred me to an endocrinologist when i saw the doctor he uh, told me to run some other tests however i knew there was a case of uh, hormonal imbalance i won't say it did not bother us. I could remember last year, January, in one of our discussions, I was telling her that that, that that would be 10 years this year, that something must be done. And uh, Wolf B to us is a second room. We have been to Wolf B several times. I have even lost count. So in February 2022, I enrolled at World of Faith Bible Institute for the BCC. And I was blessed by all our instructor. But there is this particular subject, Pastor David Oedepo Jr., the resident pastor of two course, and he shared his testimony, how he got the victory over his son, Earth Challenge. And he gave us an assignment to look for two scriptures that addresses our area of concern and meditate on it till faith Till we build our faith in it before we engage it in prayer. And that was what I did. I could remember my first encounter was with 1st John 12, precisely. He said, as many that believe him, to them gave he power to become the Son of God. So John 3, 16, 2 said, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. So these were just turning me on. I could remember I was sharing this as the light were coming. I was sharing it with my wife. So after immense meditation on this scripture, for the first time in my life, I had an understanding that salvation is not only about giving. It's much more about receiving. And what we receive at salvation is the very life that makes God God. And you can't have the life of God and be barren. 
That was where our liberation started coming. In that February also, when um, the Alleluia Challenge came up, I decided to join. I was actually committed to it because I believed that God had done it. In April, um, during one of the operations, we went for uh, outreach. I went with a colleague. So we went um, on Friday, Saturday. On Monday, I couldn't go for the outreach because I was actually weak. So I told my husband to get me uh, a malaria drop from the pharmacy, but that he should tell the pharmacist that uh, it's for a pregnant woman. Although I was not feeling the symptoms, but I was speaking in faith because I believed that God had done it. And my husband believed too, so he told the pharmacist, this is for a pregnant woman. The pharmacist said, no, we don't sell drugs to pregnant women. The pregnant woman should go to the hospital. But I was thinking in my heart, you know, I believe the Spirit of God told me, why don't you do uh, a test? So I decided to buy a pregnancy uh, kit. And when I did the test, so I saw the lines. I was like, ah, am I dreaming? So I decided to do another one again. It was the same time. So I ran to the hospital to do a blood test. I did it. And wow, it was, I saw it positive. And that was the first time in, uh, in 10 years. So the last scan before delivery, just told me that um, the only concern was that the, the, um, my placenta was so close to the uterus that if I noticed bleeding, I should just let him know. So I think four days after, I started bleeding. So I went to the hospital immediately. Um, I, I was on bed rest. So while I was on bed rest, I was not apprehensive. I didn't have fear. I had faith. And God surrounded me with people who were encouraging me. So I knew I was going to make it. My baby is good, was going to make it. I started bleeding on a Wednesday. I went to the hospital on a Thursday. Then I had to deliver my baby on, uh, on Saturday. And I want to thank God because it was smooth. Everything was just fine. My baby is well. I am well. My husband is well. And my first daughter is a proud sister. I used to pray for a brother, but God gave me a sister, and I feel so happy about it that I have someone to play with. I would like to thank the God of this commission, because like we said here, he's too faithful to fail. 